Howdy, 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 folks. It's your boy Heffa Tanks, and I have another tank review for you guys. Today, we got the Armadillo. Now, thank God for my buddy who let me his account to record this video because I do not personally have this tank. Now, let's just hop right into it. As you can see right here, I have zero perks on this tank right here. All I have is this equipment right here, but no perks. My still concealment in this thing is 68 without any perks. That is absolutely insane. So this whole first video you're going to see right here, this is with no perks on the tank and just equipment. And this was the best game I had during the night. I had some good games once I put the perks on, but I mean, if I can show you how good the tank is without perks, then I don't need to show you how good the tank is with perks. So, we're going to hop right into this gameplay right now. And there will be timestamps if you guys want to skip ahead in the video to a certain section. It'll all be in the video description below. Alright, so this is just me getting the feel for the tank. It looks weird, you know. It is small, it has nice acceleration, it has nice deceleration going backwards if you want to go backwards fast. This tank has a, I want to say, uh, fun but average gun. It is a very fun gun because it has 16 shots in the clip and you can get that clip out relatively quickly but the pen on this tank is not very good you're gonna wanna pretty much just sort of circle the people's sides or rears and auto aim and dump your clip in that way but if you're just auto aiming at the front of the tank or trying to aim for cupolas and stuff on the top it is actually gonna struggle pretty hard to get through with regular ammunition after I put all my perks on this tank I got the reload down to around 17 seconds which is completely fine for a 16 shot auto loader that is completely good the reload was not one of the weaknesses of this tank but let's talk about the strength of this tank if you can see I am in so far into the enemy line like if I was in World War 2 I would never 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 ever be able to get into this location that I'm in right now and my assistance damage is just racking up the only thing I've done so far is just put myself into an advantageous position and I'm just sitting here my camo if you look on the map that is my camo like I thought my camo was good in the hiss when I did the review this is just this is just better than the hiss and this is smaller than the hiss so you can sit in bushes better this is true vision so if you're sitting out in the open and an enemy sees you he's gonna shoot you but if you're in a bush like this it is a way harder time trying to catch you now I'm gonna start moving out and start moving around um, at this point in time I really didn't have anything in mind that I wanted to do in this tank I was still just getting a feel for it you know I was like oh maybe I'll use true vision and see someone camping up there I didn't but nonetheless for a little bit here you're just gonna see me sort of Miranda around not really do anything but even when I'm not really doing anything I'm still getting assistance damage like I'm not even trying I don't even like uh, I don't know how to explain it to you guys like you can be a potato and you're gonna do get assistance damage as long as all you need to do is put yourself into a position that's more than halfway across in uh, the map onto the enemy side in a sense this tank is sort of idiot proof because it does have such good camo that all you need to do is really get a little bit lucky with the enemy matchmaking and there's people that have pulled off 20k uh, games in this with just assistance damage just driving around in circles in the enemy base uh, obviously there's a little bit more to it than that but I mean people are doing some nuts stuff in these tanks and so here's the first time you'll see this autoloader go in and you can just get this clip out but this is the uh, the pen I'm talking about. I'm still bouncing off of that guy right there, off of another um, armadillo. Even though I did quite a bit of damage to him, and I did it relatively fast, I still wasn't able to pen, and that was something that doesn't have any armor. You know, just imagine if you're going up against a Mobat or something. It's tricky. It definitely is tricky to pen them. But enough of that. I look away for five seconds, you guys. I've already done 4,000 assistance damage, and it just keeps going up. This is just a very good active and passive scouter. You just drive around and boom, damage just falls into your lap. If your team isn't a bunch of dum-dums. But here's this uh, pen that I'm talking about here. The side of this guy, granted some of these bullets are going a little bit low into his tracks, but I correct for it and eventually I do start penning him. But it was still tough. Now, I wouldn't just spam premium in this thing because you can do just fine with regular ammo 
Maybe if you get to some of the, the more heavily armored tanks, even with premium, I don't think you'll be able to pen the front of them. I think it'll only just help you get through the sides and the rears uh, all that much easier. But I can see this guy with true vision. I can see that he's rushing me down. If this was not true vision, I would not have known that guy was rushing me down right there. So I am getting out. I am going to bait him back over here on my side. And I accidentally wanted to pull E-brake right there. I forgot to switch the controls that I'm used to when I was on my buddy's account. So luckily we didn't get punished for it. But he tried chasing us and he got shut down for it. And you're just going to see right here. I'm not spotted. He has no idea. He's not looking at me right now. If I were to fire, I'd probably get spotted. But I wanted to play around. I wanted to see what this tank could actually do. So since this is true vision, if he were to look to his left, he would have saw me, you know, but he didn't. He has no idea I'm chasing him right now. All he knows is that he's spotted. He doesn't know that I'm behind him. I was never spotted in this whole engagement until, well, you'll see right now, but still. You can just mess around with people with this thing. Look at how close I am, and this guy has no clue that I'm over here. And then finally he starts getting hit, so I said, okay, I want some of this damage. So here we go. I'm gonna dump my clip. And he is gone. Fun, fun little gun. There are still two enemy tanks on the battlefield. I'm already at 7,000 assistance damage. Where that it came from, I don't even know. I was not paying attention. I was just driving, you know? That's, what I'm, that's the stuff that happens in this. As long as you can keep yourself alive and actively trying to go put yourself into positions, you're going to be having good games. Now, comparing this tank to the Hiss and the Arctic Hiss, which do I prefer? Well, honestly, um, the Arctic Hiss is nice because it has that four-shot missiles that you can just do a thousand damage to somebody with. And... But it's a little bit bigger. So it's sort of a trade-off. They both have really good camo. This has better camo. I think the best I got the hiss down to was like 180. Check that video out if after this if you want to watch that. But this has way better camo. But I feel like the hiss's gun is just a little bit uh, better with those missiles. So you can see here I'm just messing with these guys. Like I'm, all the, I'm right behind them. I'm literally right behind them. And they have no clue that I'm here. Now, I might have also not been detected in the same situation if I was in the Hiss, but I wouldn't have been able to have that much leeway. Like, that was, I was very close. Um, but then again, if I was in the Arctic Hiss, I would have had that nice missile launcher to shove up that guy's booty. Can I, can I say that on YouTube? I don't know. I'm going to say it anyway. I'm not editing it. I'm not doing it. I'm staying. I'm keeping. Nope, doing it. So, for our first game in this tank, we did 10,800 combined damage, almost 11,000 damage combined. That is insane. I don't know if that's like some low number because this is Cold War and I don't play Cold War, but I, even for a World War II player, I feel like that is like a good game. With the gameplay and the generalization of the tank out of the way, it's time to get into the nitty gritty details of this tank. So we're going to be looking at the armor, which you guys, I'm not going to lie, there is nothing really to see here. It's got some spaced armor on the sides that'll help it bounce those random shots that I was talking about, but you don't have armor. 60 to 100 at its thickest. You're getting penned by everything unless it's a very lucky angle. All right, now let's look at the details here. Feel free to pause this screen. The only things I really want to point out was the accuracy there, which is 0.33. Not too bad, not too good. This isn't a super accurate tank, but it does hit stuff on the move. And that's all you really care about because I, you're not really going to be firing standing still in this tank. And that's another thing I would like to point out is that when you are using your, uh, your first zoom where you see all four of your guns, and also when you're using your second zoom, it is incredibly hard to track a target and hit them repeatedly because of all of the fire that's popping out of your cannon. So that's one thing you also want to take into consideration. Now, feel free to pause this screen. These are the perks I use because I go through it fast, but I set this thing up just to mainly be a good scout, and I really wanted to focus on just the um, camo of the tank. Now, if I were to redo these a little bit different, maybe I would have taken off the vision, one of the vision ones, because honestly, you already have so much uh, camo in the tank that it makes up for your lack of vision, and maybe you have put something else on, like maybe uh, the uh, reload perk or something like that. I could have switched it up just a little bit. But those are my two cents. You set it up however your heart desires, all right? 
All right, you guys. Well, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the review. If you did, why don't you do me a favor and ammo rack the like and subscribe button. Hit the bell notification in the top right if you want to be let know when I do another video. And um, why don't you go into the comments section? Uh, what do you think about these tanks? Let's start a little conversation, why don't you? All right, you guys. Adios.